All right, welcome back artists. So we drew our hearts with expression and you picked the one you liked the best. You redrew it large on your painting paper with the black crayon. And the only place you were allowed to fill in with black was the pupils of the eyes. Everything else is just outlined because now we're going to paint. So we're gonna use the paint chips. And remember when we use paint chips, water is your friend. You need that water to activate the paint off the paint chips. Also, you guys have had practice using the paint chips before and you've been working with me for a while now. So you remember how to mix colors. You can look at the color wheels in our classroom. Red and blue or cyan and magenta, as we call it in our art room. Cyan and magenta make, I hope you said purple, purple. So we're gonna mix our purple here. Magenta and yellow makes, I hope you said orange. Orange goes here. Yellow and cyan makes green. So we're gonna use those primary colors, the three primary colors to make those three secondary colors. So. Your challenge for today is to get all six of those colors on your paper. I wanna see some cyan, some magenta, some yellow, and some orange, violet, and green. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna take your paintbrush, remember, dip it in the water. Oh, and remember, you need a bristle paintbrush, the stiff ones not the watercolor paintbrushes. They're too soft, they won't release the paint. You'll ruin the paintbrush. So we need these stiff bristle paintbrushes, which are, you know where they are, over in the acrylic or the tempera paint center, not the watercolor center. Okay, dip your paintbrush in the water. I'm gonna start with yellow. I always like to start with the lightest value first. Look at how I am rubbing my paintbrush across that paint chip to release the paint. Look at all the beautiful paint on that brush. Please don't rinse that paint off. We want to use it. So I'm going to paint maybe yellow right here. So I'm using that color. And remember, we pull our paintbrush. Don't push it. If it gets a little dry, I can just dip my paintbrush. Did you see how I just dipped it in there? Look, my water's still clean. You don't see any yellow in there. And then Ooh, look at how that water helps to release the pigment or the color on my paintbrush and onto my paper. So I still have a lot of yellow on here and I don't want to waste it, but I want to make orange. So again, I'm going to dip it real fast because I need to get more water on my brush to activate my magenta. That will mix with the yellow that's already on there to make orange. Dip real fast, boom and come over here and rub on the magenta. Ooh, I've got some orange. So let's see, I'm gonna paint this guy orange. Oh, look at that beautiful orange. I love it. So I'm gonna use all that beautiful orange on my paintbrush. I don't wanna rinse that paint. By the end of this, your water should still be pretty clean. Okay, when I see that, see how my paintbrush now, there's not a lot of color left on there? So that is an indicator that, oh, I need to get more pigment. So now I'm gonna dip my paintbrush. Again, I don't need to rinse because I'm using the same color family. I'm gonna get some yellow. I have yellow there. Dip again and get more magenta. And now I can, wow, look how bright that orange is. It's a darker value of orange than this orange. I love that, how we're gonna get those different values. Values, remember artist, is the lightness and darkness of the color. So I have a light yellow orange value of orange and a medium value of orange here. Let's see if I can get a really dark like pumpkin orange. So I'm gonna dip again, I'm not rinsing. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. Now, do you guys notice that I rubbed here but now I'm rubbing down here? There's not a lot of paint left here because I rubbed it all off. So I had to move to a, a different part of the paint chip. All right, I got all my yellow. And again, dip, don't rinse. Look at how clean that water is. Dip, 
Now I want more magenta because we're going for that dark pumpkin orange. Wow, look at that. So look at all those different values. Now look at how my paint is getting, this is what we call dry brush when it kind of looks like fur like that. But can you see all the paint still on there? So all I need to do is get a little bit more water on here to release that paint. So again, I'm just gonna dip. And now look at how that water just makes that pigment come alive and it comes off of the paintbrush. So I'm gonna dip again, not rinse, but I wanna use all that pigment on my paintbrush and I'm moving all the paint around. And then even down here, I can blend these two together. See how I can soften that edge and blend those two values together. And I'm pulling my paint and I'm working slowly and I want a little bit more pigment now to finish this heart. And then we'll move on to another color. But I hope you guys are remembering how to use the paint chips and you work nice and slow. So look at that. Now I have beautiful different values of the orange color family here on this heart. Now I'm gonna change color families. I wanna make some purple. This is when I'm gonna rinse my paintbrush. So I'm gonna let him touch the bottom of that cup, go for a good swim in there. Still my water's not very dirty. And now I'm gonna take some cyan. So again, I'm gonna rub, rub, rub. I don't have to, you know, smash the paintbrush in there, but I'm just gently rubbing it across. Look at all that beautiful cyan. His tongue is going to be blue. Because again, my challenge is to get all those six colors. So I have yellow, I have orange, magenta, and cyan. I'm almost halfway there. I am halfway there, that's four colors. Now, I wanna make some purple. So I have all that cyan on my brush. Don't rinse it, dip. And now I'm gonna rub on this side of the paint chip because I don't wanna mix my cyan over here with the orange. So the cyan gets off on the magenta paint chip over here to make purple. Look at that beautiful violet color. Oh, I love it. Now again, I need a little bit more water on my brush to release that color. So again, I'm gonna dip and then pull all that pigment down. So like I said, artists, Water is your friend. If the color is not coming off the paintbrush, it's because you need more water. All right, I hope that you have fun painting in your hearts. Go nice and slow. And when you are finished, you will Dump your water in the dirty water bucket and put your paint brushes back at the paint center table. Make sure your name and teacher code is on your artwork. It already should have been on there from when you did the drawing. Oh wait, you did the drawing today. So make sure your name and teacher code is somewhere on here and you can put it on the drawing rack when you're done. All right, get all six colors. I still need green. Have fun, artists.